be seeing um, this view or uh, this setup over here. Uh, hold down uh, the Apple key and click on uh, zero. Make sure that that's right. Oops. Well, apparently that closed it down. So that must have been the right thing. But um, you can also uh, hold down the Apple key and uh, click on one and that'll bring up uh, your attributes window. Uh, one puts you over into this tab, two, this one, three, this one, and four, this one. Of course, we're not seeing anything right now because we don't actually have anything selected. And then the other thing we want to do is open up the, the library, and that's over here under Tools, Library, and right now, I've isolated it down, so I'm only seeing stuff that begins with I am, but uh, let's delete that. And then, uh, sure enough, we get to uh, all these fun little objects that we can add onto uh, our um, project here. So let's uh, well, let's grab the uh, image view. I'm gonna drag this uh, over to here. It's gonna expand to about the entire size. Don't really want that. In fact, I'm not sure what size I want this to be. Let me go back over here. Double click on scope again, and I'm gonna just bring this up in preview. Uh, all I want to do is I just want to find out the actual size of this. Okay, 150 wide by 150. So. That is what I'm going to make this. Hold down the Apple key, click on three. You'll end up over here in this tab, and let's set this to be 150, 150. Uh, hold down Apple and one. Go over here to image. Actually, you can just start, begin typing. That should be called scope. Click on scope. And if you're seeing that black background, just click on opaque. So now we can uh, see through to this guy. And if we were to uh, fold down the view right here, sure enough, we've got this image view, scope, so it gives you an indication of what it is. You can also just um, click in here, and if you want to just put in your own name, scope, that is even better. And I guess while we're at it, let's just go ahead and throw in a few other things. We'll put in the crater that we're going to use. And again, I want to make sure I get the size of this right. So this is going to be adjust size, uh, 7577, and uh, our fireball I know is going to be 350 by 350. So uh, crater, opaque. If you don't want it to be center, uh, scale the fill, you can always set that to be center. Uh, but I do like to get the um, width and height um, the same size as the image most of the time, and. Again, let me set this to center, and then one more time. Let's get an image on stage. Drag this out over here. 350 by 350. And for this one, I'm going to make sure that's opaque. I'll put a fireball in there for just a moment just to make sure it's um, everything looks OK. But then I'm going to take this off of here, and um, those fireballs are only going to uh, become animated images. And then when they cycle through, um, they're not going to go back and like essentially go to frame one. You can think of it like that, but they're not going to go back to their default image, which is what they would do if I left an image in here. So that's why we're getting rid of that guy. And uh, right now, these are just um, objects that are floating um, on stage. They, uh, they don't have any sort of connection with uh, um, an instance variable so we need to go over here and set that up and we're gonna write IB outlet remember that IB stands for interface builder so this is an outlet to it and then we're gonna write UI image view and if you're ever um, stumped for what to put there you can always go back over here to interface builder and in your library, uh, whatever you dragged on the stage right here, it's going to tell you uh, what that class name is right at the bottom. So UI image view, that's exactly what we're going to write back over here. And then star, this will be a crater, will be one of them. And also scope, and also explosion. Okay, here's another uh, fun little trick. Let's go and copy out this part right here. Actually, let me put a little note that says images. And I'm going to paste this out three times. Okay. Then I'm going to hold down the option key. All right. So I get that crosshair again. And I'm going to copy all three of those lines, come over here, and paste them on down. Look at that. They just 
paste all smooth like that one after another um stuff weird stuff will happen though let's, let's say you do it again you did it right here okay see how it kind of pasted them in there so uh, generally you want to just be sure that you've got three lines you know of content to paste it or blank content or you know stuff with this in front of it to, to do that and finally let's jump over here to our implementation file scoot up to the top let's synthesize these guys I'm gonna put a little note that here that says images and then uh, this will be creator scope explosion and we've almost got things ready to go let's um, do a quick little build just to make sure that uh, there's no code errors that's looking good I think jump over here to interface uh, builder and what we want to do is hold down the control key start at files owner and then just drop it over top uh, scope select scope there do the same thing for this guy creator and same thing over here in the um, explosion okay and if you were to select these and or any one of these and uh, hold down Apple and the two key you can see that you're referencing out outlets now are uh, set up so creator to files owner um, I guess another way you could have done this would be to um, do it exactly like this so. okay um, let's just be picky for a second creator explosion all right, save it out, and now we can come back over here. Um, actually, you know, I'm sorry. Go back to that for just a moment. Go ahead and just put your um, your explosion. I'm sorry. Put your scope above your explosion, and your crater should be below the explosion. Okay. So depth-wise, this right here is visibly on top of everything else and then I'm going to just kind of center this up in the middle of the stage pseudo centered all right now I'll save it up again so let's jump back over here to our implementation file and what we are gonna write now is void location manager colon CL location manager star manager did update heading and this will be CL heading new heading and again all I want to do with this is just basically rotate around that uh, rotate the scope of kind of in well it's in some sense it's an arbitrary direction because we're not there's nothing on our scope that kind of points north but um, so we're just gonna write uh, if new heading dot heading uh, okay make sure to turn purple is heading accuracy is greater than zero um, that means uh, if the uh, accuracy is valid then we're gonna do what's inside of here and that will be to do a uh, rotation transformation on the um, on the scope so we write scope then set transform um, CJ affine transform uh, let's see actually no don't type that type this Oh, I almost had it. Make rotation. Okay. And I screwed that up a little bit. Don't want this stuff out here. We nor do we want that. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and close off that uh, opening bracket. And um, yeah, the magic's going to happen inside of these parentheses. So this is going to be. Uh, negative one times new heading dot uh, magnetic oh no completions okay magnetic heading times good old pi three point one four one five 
nine divided by 180. I didn't go to math school, so I don't exactly know um, how to explain that perfectly, but um, I think this should work. Let me build it real fast, make sure we're not getting any errors. Yeah, something's not right here. Um, oh, simple problem, star. Okay, actually, before I do a build here, let me uh, just paste in this line. Uh, this runs when the heading updates. Okay. Now I think we're ready to roll. So uh, build and run. And let's see what happens. Um, by the way, if you do get this error like this, it's it's actually pretty common. It's just um, uh, this happens sometimes when we're using the map kit. Uh, okay, so let's see if I can do this right. I'm gonna try to swivel the phone around here. Okay, it's well, I saw it happen. Did you guys? Yeah, here we go. Hopefully, you can see it in the video. Yeah, it's definitely moving around. And that, settle that. Oh, and you can see too, obviously, it's running in the output window here. Okay, uh, we're doing good. And look at that, we're only 40 minutes in. This is um, this is kind of actually just the, the very foundation of this uh, tutorial. What I want to do next is uh, set up a little tab bar so that we can uh, switch back and forth between uh, whether or not we're going to be using the actual location or... Um, picking out a, a, a city location um, or an, an exact latitude and longitude. And um, then from that, uh, we'll auto update with the speed of that. And of course, obviously um, make use of our scope and blowing up stuff and adding sound and all sorts of fun things. So that is, uh, that's what is ahead.